Hey guys, and welcome to Dolladay's Day 7. So today we are unboxing another doll. Um, this time it is truly me, number 26. So I'm excited about this one. I also have a special surprise because my grandma actually um, already owned this doll. It's the only 18 inch doll that she has and I've been cleaning it for her because she was cleaning her apartment. And so I actually have another version of 26 that I'm gonna be comparing this one to. So that's here today. Hi, Dad. Um, I just wanted to point out this pen because he always tells me that he sees them and he watches my videos sometimes. So this is the pen that's been in the corner of this room for a very, very long time. Anyway, here she is. She's so cute. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. My boyfriend is in the background. He is here because it's Christmas Eve and he didn't want to be alone downstairs. So he's here and he is probably going to make random comments throughout the video. So today that's the vibe we have. So 26. 26. It's a doll. I'm excited. Um, it's Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas to anybody of you who celebrates it. That was such weird grammar. Um, we're gonna zoom through unboxing her, and you guys can ignore the fact that I'm... It's, this is just a very chaotic video. That's, that's what it's gonna be. Well, that was unexpectedly easy. All right. So, here she is. What do you think? Any commentary on her? She has a blue jacket on. Thank you, it's super helpful. Here she is. Now, something I will say before I even go any further, I can definitely tell the difference between this 26 and the 26 that I've been fixing for my grandma. They have very different eyes. I will show that later, but she's so cute. It definitely works for her. Like, this is the adding mold I'm used to. It's just that I think it was different before a little bit. So here she is. Um, she does not have the permanent underwear, which I'm always very wary of whenever I get a doll that comes in this meat outfit, because a lot of times they would, um, but she doesn't, so, you know, that's good. I don't really know what else to say. Normally I have more comments about this. I've wanted this doll for a long time. Do you have any comments? What do you think? Um. Yes? Oh, I forgot. Okay, you yeah, forgot. Uh, have a Merry Christmas, he says. Um, we've been opening presents all morning because we can't wait till actual Christmas, and that's just how things are. So, here she is. I'm going to go stand her up, take off her hairnet. We are going to compare her to the other 26, and I think probably 62 and maybe at 85. All right, so here is Truly Me at number 26. Um, we're going to take off her hairnet, I'm going to compare her to a different 26, and then we are going to compare her to um, the other dolls that I talked about. So, here we go. Stay still. Alright, that was easy. Okay, let's take her hair down a little bit. Now this is kind of interesting because I have seen this doll in person before, so it's not like it's my first time seeing her. So I do have some like, I already know what she's supposed to look like in my head, so it'll be interesting to see if she matches that or not. But here she is. So, so pretty. She is the fifth doll I've opened for Doll Days. So if you guys have missed the other unboxings of dolls, go check that out. I have a playlist for my Doll Days linked at the end of this video, and also it's on my playlist, it's on my channel. So. Go ahead and check those out if you missed any of my unboxings. Tomorrow's unboxing, if I do one for Christmas, I might not. I think tomorrow's gonna be pretty busy, but if I do end up doing another video later this week, whether that's Sunday or next week, it's going to be another Create Your Own. So she has the medium skin tone, which I think she's the only Addy that's had this skin tone. So that's really cool. So I am going to go quick and grab the other Addy mold that looks like her which is 26 so exactly the same doll actually I'm just losing my mind maybe we'll do the name reveal right now actually so I'm thinking that this doll her name is going to be Quinn Quinn is a name that I've loved for a long time a name I've been saving for the right doll and this one just feels like Quinn to me so she is Quinn and I will go ahead and go get the other dolls 
So here is my 26 with my grandma's 26, Aaron. So we have Quinn and Aaron next to each other. Quinn is wearing the blue jacket and Aaron does not have a jacket. Now I wanted to compare these two because I looked at her and realized her eyes are smaller. That was the first thing that I picked up on. Another thing that I noticed about them is their face mold is just slightly different. Not really all that noticeable, but just a little different. And their hair length is just, I think it's because this one's older, so her hair has had time to kind of like relax and this one hasn't, but their hair is a slightly different length. Now, as far as like actual major differences, the only one that I really noticed is the eye size. The eye color is exactly the same. I just thought the eye thing was kind of interesting because personally, I usually prefer dolls with bigger eyes. So I just think it's interesting how they decided to make them smaller. She's still a really cute doll and I still really like her. I just think it's interesting that they chose to change that. So as you can see, that's really the only difference here. She looks more awake. She looks a little bit more, um, I don't know, sleepier almost. They're both really cute. And I thought since I had Aaron at my house, might as well take the time to do this one today. So this might be a more confusing comparison than the next one's going to be, but this is Truly Me 62. The reason why I wanted to compare Truly Me 62 and Truly Me 26 is because, it's kind of interestingly, they're actually, their numbers are flipped, so, you know, 62, 26, but the reason why I wanted to compare them is because they have the same eye color and the same skin tone, and they are kind of alike in that way, where they're kind of a more unique, like, sought-after doll because they do have a very unique combination of features. And this one is a snolly mold with straight hair, but this one has an addy mold with curly hair. But their colors and their um, like features are very similar. So they do have the same eye color, which is an eye color I've never seen in another doll. It's a very unique color. Um, their skin tone is exactly the same. Their lips are different colors. So, you know, there's that. But I did think it was fun just to put them next to each other and see if they're really as alike as they seem. And I would say, yeah. And the last doll I'm gonna compare at 26 to is 85. So the reason why I wanted to compare these two is because I always feel weird taking a doll that's retired that I get and comparing her to exclusively other retired dolls. So I wanted to take at least one doll in my collection that's still available that I feel is comparable and comparing them. Um, I was going to compare her to 58 and then realized I'm pretty sure 58 retired. So this is the closest we're gonna get. And honestly, they do have a very similar like vibe to them. They don't look extremely similar. They have the same features, just she's darker and she's lighter. So they are kind of like a very similar doll just with different skin tones and just different colors to their hair and eyes. Um, and this one has more textured hair. That has, this one has more like Gabriella vibe hair. Like her hair is a little bit softer. But I do feel they're comparable. Um, they have a similar vibe, like I said. So if you really like 26 and you like 85, I feel like you would be really happy with 85 as well. I personally love her. She's a great gateway between 26 and Addy. So if you like both 26 and Addy, but you're not sure, maybe even compromise and go with 85. All right, so here's your final look at Quinn. I'm gonna move her up a little bit and we're gonna turn her in a circle so you guys can see her hair from all angles. So definitely very voluminous curls, very bouncy, very, very pretty. Um, the side's a little bit longer because the part is on the side, so, you know, it makes sense. And here she is. Like I said, her name is Quinn. Um, thank you guys so much for watching Doll Days Day 7. For those of you who've been sticking through and watching all of my Doll Days, know that I noticed you, know that I am very appreciative of you guys watching and, you know, this is something I've always kind of wanted to do, but always felt like I didn't have the motivation or like the... I couldn't commit to it, but it's been really fun. And for those of you who leave comments every day and who watch the videos, just know that I see you and thank you guys for watching all of my videos. So, um, Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate it. To those of you who don't, happy holidays. Um, the new year's coming. We've got some fun stuff coming up and I'm very excited for Christmas and just for doll days and all that good stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all for doll days day eight, which is kind of insane, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys!